praise God for Jason's Deli because if I didn't, I would be dead right now. I tell people this all the time. I work for the greatest company in the world. Without Jason's Deli, none of this is possible. The Jason's Deli Family Fund was established in 2009 as a way for us to help our employees in their greatest time of need in catastrophic situations. It is a separate nonprofit charity, but funded through the employees of Jason's Deli. Our managers approached us with the idea of starting a family fund. That's how that began. They explained the process and what it was for. And it was a great idea. And as far as I know, everyone that we work with and where I work with, we have donated. I actually didn't know about it initially when I got hired because um, it was a part of, it was on my application and everything. If you would like to donate to it, and if you do want to donate to it, how much? They can give as little as a dollar a paycheck on up, as much as they'd like to give per, per paycheck. And the money essentially goes into this fund in which people can apply for assistance. My manager helped me print out the forms that I needed and actually helped me fill out the form, which is actually very simple. There's guidance and human resources and um, people who actually you can call and they help you. So the process itself was painless. We're working paycheck to paycheck and things come up we never expect. So it's nice to know that you have a job and a job that cares where they can also help you in times of need. The Family Fund really does reinforce our culture as a, a family. Uh, it's helping our family members in their, their catastrophic situations. It can be anything from uh, a funeral from an immediate family member. It could be a natural disaster. Um, we've had a number of hurricanes where we've helped a, a lot of people who lost their home or had extensive damage. Uh, major medical issues where we cover their lost wages while they're out of work. Um, those are the types of things. Someone's house burns down. Uh, it's catastrophic situations where they have no where to go and we are able to provide them with hope and in some instances actually save lives. On January 17th of 2018, um, I found out that I had stage four liver cancer. I didn't have the insurance. I didn't know what was gonna happen. Even though I didn't have insurance, you know, the people got me in, got me into the family fund and I started getting the treatments. I wouldn't have gotten this last Thanksgiving, my family, or this Christmas, or my birthday in May. I didn't even think about the family fund because my husband was very ill and I had many other things on my mind besides this. He was diagnosed with cancer and because of all the things that were going in my mind, I had, didn't even think about the family fund. I was just concentrating on him and all of his problems until my manager came to me and was, Melissa, you need to remember this and we need to do this. And he was right away, we've got to fill this up. We've got to print this up. We've got to get you some help. Thanks to the family fund, and all the people that are involved. Again, it's not that hard. You print it out, you fill out the information, and the decision is made quite easily and quite fast so that it is a relief on your mind to know at least one thing is that you have the help fast so that you can concentrate on the things that are more important. And my husband was actually getting sick and worse and dying. Um, and if it hadn't been for the family fund, I wouldn't have been able to stay in my home. Um, and um, be able to just take care of all the important things that was him at the time. Since 2009, we have helped thousands of people and given hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, away in helping people uh, in these situations. It's very gratifying, very rewarding, and we need people to be able to continue to contribute so that we can fund uh, these, these initiatives. There are gonna be times when you gotta have help. When I started working for Jason Dilley, I didn't have cancer. You're saving lives and you might be saving your very own. I think that we need to let people know that we care about them. I, I contribute because I want to help. I also was in a position that I don't like to ask for handouts and help. It was hard for me to do that 
but my managers were the ones and my co-workers were the ones that insisted and Melissa you need this you need help um, for anybody that needs help please don't hesitate to ask for help I owe a great debt of gratitude to Jason every dollar counts and you can give as little as a dollar a check we have a lot of employees here at Jason's Deli and if everybody just gave a dollar a paycheck I mean the sky's the limit with what we can do with that money and that fund things happen in life everyone goes through hard times and to be able to know that there is this safety net out there for people to apply and receive assistance is invaluable. And again, part of our culture and part of who we are as a family.